Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Two Saginaw women are developing a product to help reunite missing children and adults with their families. It's a QR code on a keychain. When scanned, it pops up with all the emergency info for someone, name, age, address, and phone number of a contact. A um, Mission School Board member is back in court today for assault and battery charges. Flint School Board member Danielle Green pleaded not guilty to charges in April after being accused of assaulting another board member during a meeting on March 23rd. The Board of Education removed Green as president last month. Her pretrial hearing is at 9.30 a.m. Well, the Marine Corps League of Saginaw Valley is raising money for multiple charities. A group of Marines hosted a fundraiser outside of Pat's Food Store in Freeland, hoping to raise as much as they can. They have two fundraisers in the spring. Next week, they will be at Kroger on State Street. The group wants to help support projects in the community like Little League, Eagle Scouts, the VA Hospital, and so many more. Now here's Matthew with a look at your forecast. Thank you, Colette. We do have a mild day for your Monday. Some of that rain starting off this morning, but here's a look at our high temperatures. Lower 70s and some 60s on the shoreline. This is right around normal for this time of year, if not just a couple of degrees above normal. But uh, coinciding with that heat is going to be the wind gusts this afternoon, around 25 to 30 miles per hour out of the northwest. But those wind gusts slowing back down as we head into your Monday night. Now this is all behind a cold front. That's where that rain this morning is also coming from, but that rain can completely out of here by around 8 o'clock this morning. Full sun breaks out for the middle of your Monday and then a few fair weather clouds will start to bubble up as a response. That's where we could see an isolated shower or thunderstorm into the thumb, but that should be short lived into the evening. We're all dry and still looking at those mostly clear skies. And then as we head into your Tuesday, still mostly sunny throughout the majority of the daytime. So not looking too bad for any outdoor plans that you do have on Tuesday, but it'll be cooler then too. a high of 65 and actually only looking at a low of 42 for this Monday night, so it'll be cold Tuesday morning. Wednesday, the coolest day of the week at 61. A few showers possible by Friday. We warm back up to the lower 80s, but that does come with a chance of some rain and thunderstorms. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.